Boy, howdy everybody. How y'all doing? We got a real special surprise for you today. Normally here on Back in the Day Gamer, I fly this ship solo. But today we've got our very first special guest. And that is none other than Derek Miller from Vital Pursuits. Now, I know you don't know what Vital Pursuit is because he just started it. So that's why he's here, to tell you a little bit about it. So Derek, tell the people about Vital Pursuits, why we're here. Hey, Tony. First of all, thank you for having me as a special oh, oh, guest. You're today. very yeah, welcome. We're honored. <laughs> I feel honored. Um, hey, Vital Pursuit started me and my brother this year. We wanted to start a new hunting show that the people can really relate to. And um, this next 2018, we're going to have a lot of hunting videos, fishing, walleye fishing, carp, boat fishing, and everything. So it's going to be good. Primarily here in the southern yeah. Michigan, northern yeah. Ohio. Yeah. Yep. Indiana, Triangle, Hillsdale area. Right. Yep. I know you pull a lot of deer out of there. Yep. Yeah. So that's gonna be it's gonna be fun. And now, how many deer did you get last season? I got three. Three. Yep. But you got more than that the year before, did you not? Yep. I got four. Four. Yep. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't sound like a lot to you, super avid hunters, <laughs> but it, it is. It is. But so anyhow, today here in Southern Michigan, it's cold because it's still winter, and we want to do some fishing. So the only way we can do that, since the walleye aren't quite yet running in the Maumee, is by playing it on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So there's a little game called Black Bass. It's a largemouth bass fishing tournament game that came out in 1989. And we're going to play it here in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the show. And remember to expect to see a lot more things coming up from Vital Pursuit. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, folks, so here we go. Black Bass with Derek from Vital Pursuits. Now, I am obviously 39 because I just did my 39th birthday spectacular video. But Derek is a fresh green, almost 23, right? Yep. So what year were you born then? 94. 94. So this game came out in 89. <laughs> 89. I'm going to put Vital Pursuit in here. So you've never played Black Bass before on Nintendo? No. Well, you were in for a real big <laughs> surprise, Derek. <laughs> now, actually, you're going to hate this game. Um, because, I mean, I like it because of nostalgia, and I played it when I was little. But you're not going to like it. <laughs> I'm a beginner. Play the game. Okay. We'll start from the beginning. Please enjoy yourself at this year's angling event. So we're fishing at Lake Amada. And it's 6 a.m. We've got till 1,600 hours to catch nice. us some bass. Nice. All right. It is June 5th, and the weather conditions are cloudy. It's 63 degrees. That's not bad for 6 in the morning, right? I like it. All right. Lake depth is 9 feet, so it's a lot like the lake in the backyard here. <laughs> So here, this is your boat, and this is the map. Right, right. <laughs> very, very complex. So there's only like four or five spots on the lake that are good fishing. Um, since I have literally been playing this game for 30 years. You know where to go. Uh -huh. You know where all the hot yeah. are. Yeah, and I mean, you can click on it, and it just says, uh, how's this location? It'll say, it's a good spot for bass. It's a bad spot for bass. But right over here is a good spot. This is actually the best spot. It looks more like a swamp. but So... This is aiming where you're going to cast, and then, you know, A is the power. So you power, you hit it, start your power meter, and then you hit it again because we want to cast it way out there. I don't know what the hell that brown spot is, uh, but it's always there and you can go under it. But you just, you know, you tink around. You, right, you got a weedless lure, right? You can just... Um, you can't, well, that brown thing, that's not <laughs> weed, but these, the, the grass, like, you can't go into it. Okay. But so, you know, you just, you tinker around. You wait for the fish. Uh, it's kind of, it's not super random, but like usually you just go left, right, left, right, reel a little bit, left, right, left, right. Do, do, do. Here he comes, Tony. See, now by his shadow, he's a little one, so you don't want him. No, when you bite, well, you want him now because we got none, but. <laughs> so, your little, that red fish thing, that's uh -huh. like his stamina. And, you know, you can guide him a little bit, like with the D pad. Right. Like your rod, you were moving your rod, but A reels in. And 
after a while you hear this annoying ass noise. I'm gonna stop reloading, really try and you know, pulling them left. Because you can't go into those weeds. Okay, you gotta go to the side. He's actually fighting hard for a tiny little one. Whoopsie, he's already tired. Oh, whoa. Oh. Whenever they do that, just let go. Here they go. Oh, wait, no, not yet. So you, you're trying to wear him down like that? Yeah, well, he's worn down. Okay. I guess he's so small. It doesn't, it's not stressing your line. But they'll be, normally, it'll go mark, 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 and you gotta, like, back off or your line will snap. So when you get him to the end, and that comes out, and you weigh him in. Woo! 1.7. I it's think they were small. just being a little generous <laughs> because that was yeah. the first fish. Normally one that looks like that would be like one pound. But too bad. Um, so I think, you know, lure, is that one's fine. You, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but you got to go select cast again. So a lot of times if you just caught a fish, it won't be great to catch it in the same area, but we're just going to go again. I'll show you one more time. Let you have it. But at first, reel it in a little bit because, you know, if you catch them way back there, then it's going to take that much longer to fight them. So you got to jig around, boom, boom, boom. Left, right, left, right, reel a little bit. Left, right, left, right. But like I said, since we just caught one, one might not show up. They don't show up every time anyways. Uh -huh. You know, it's like fishing. In real life, you don't always catch one. I mean, me, myself, I usually catch a fish <laughs> every cast. Yeah. But <laughs> you catch the small ones just like that. So by now, you would have seen a shadow, so really one's not coming. So you get hit, if you hit both buttons at the same time, it reels again. Okay. So, you know, we'll go to move. Move, and uh, I believe over here is a good spot. No, over here. Yep. Those okay. are like... Weird looking rocks, but so, you're pretty much good to go straight out so here. A's again. So you hit A, and the power goes, you know, and then. Sorry, uh, hit it again. You know, oh, you I guess, it's I the guess. power gauge. Oh, yeah. You know what would be good? An ice cold Budweiser. Oh, my God. <laughs> Derek forgot the Budweiser. I said, make sure Tell you bring a six pack. It. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. And then kind of just, you can let it sit if he's that close. Oh. oh. Sometimes they go away. Sometimes. But so I surprised Derek. He didn't know what was going on. He didn't know I had all this set up. So he shows up. First thing I say is, where's the Budweiser? But he didn't know why we needed it. Because we're going fishing. All right. Okay, now hold A. An A reel. You'll have to navigate around those rocks a little oh, bit. Okay. It's really not too serious. It kind of does it for you. But... Oh, this is way bigger than yours, Tony. Mm, it's the same size. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon it's gonna start. There you go, let go. Yeah. And like, I think if you hold B, it's like you're not reeling, but it kind of holds him there. Uh -huh. But since this one's just a dinker minnow guppy, you don't really have to worry <laughs> about that. <laughs> so, this, despite it being green, that's a black bass. Let go, let go. You know, and like, you know, try holding B, but like I said, he's already wore out because he's all bones there in the stamina meter. Um, once it starts stressing your line, making that noise, you really got like five seconds or so. So, you know, when you're at the end, you can push it. Oh, 1.1, 1. 1. 1. that's 1. no good. We'll, let, we'll go ahead, go ahead, try again. But you will try move spots, try moving spots. I would keep that one right now. Go to move. Go up top. Towards the left. You know, right one, up one. That, I think that's. Oh, yeah. Nope, I lied to you, it's not. <laughs> you gotta cast. And then just hold both buttons together. Right. The spots that aren't any good are just plain and nothing. So I'm gonna move and uh, try the, to the right. That little peak. Right here. Over, over, you know. Oh, up, up. Yeah, yeah, right there. Should be good. Ah, I lied. Uh, it's not one Tony. Again. Give it a try. Cast it out anyway. You need to practice. <laughs> you need to practice. Yeah, there's going to be nothing. You won't catch anything. But so, despite that fish being green, that's a black bass. Then there's also rainbow trout, which are orange, which doesn't make any sense. Oh. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, man. 
That's a monster. Oh, oh yeah. You're See, the big me. ones are pickier. The big ones are pickier, dude. That's a monster. That's like what? that's as big as they get right there. That's as big as they get. Um, God, that was like the catfish the, you caught last The bigger the fish are, are pickier. Yeah, it was like the catfish I caught in the hot hole, which I can put a picture right here. Oh, you should have kept going. You shouldn't have reeled that in. That was that man. Now he ain't gonna be there anymore. Yeah, give is. another try. He's no, I don't here. think so. I'm gonna get him. Oh man, that was a. I mean, that doesn't happen when you're in a bad spot. Usually, you just don't see anything. You just happen to see a monster. That's crazy. <laughs> but so, oh, anyhow, you got the black bass, which are green. You got rainbow trout, which are orange. Um, then there's pike, which uh, I can't remember what color they are because whenever I get one, I usually just kind of. I'm mad because it's a waste of time <laughs> because the game's called Black Bass and those are the only ones that count. And since you're on a time limit, it's all about time, but that's not really that important, especially on the first lake because it's the first board, so it's easy. Then there's one more fish. Oh, man. Lake trout, maybe? Or? I don't know. I'm, I'm an idiot. I can't believe I can't remember. There's only four fish. I can only remember three of them. Yeah, we're gonna make some little... yeah, yeah. Go down to little bump and uh, pass that yeah down and in right here. no no into the cove yeah try that I think that's a spot yeah this oh yeah this is a good one though. this is a good one <laughs> I have played this game for hundreds of hours <laughs> I've, I've never beat it but I th I've got to the last lake I believe um but uh a couple of weeks ago I busted this out because I'm using this in one of the top three Tuesday responses for Michael B. the Game Genie resurrecting the top three Tuesdays, and a couple weeks ago it was top three bad games that you like, and this is one of my top three bad games that I like. Um, I'm sure most people hate this game, and it's, in all honesty, not <laughs> that fun, but I've always liked it. <laughs> I mean, I've always been huge into fishing, and this was literally the first fishing game that there ever was. Um, yeah, this probably came out before Blue Marlin, which is the other fishing game on Nintendo, but that's deep sea fishing for See, Blue for Marlin. me, Tony, this is cool because I've never, I've never played anything this old. <laughs> this is old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This game is literally old. I have owned this cartridge <laughs> for like six more years than you've been alive. <laughs> like that very cartridge right there, I've had for six more years than you've been alive. All right, I'm moving. There was no, no, you should. Well, there was yeah, no fish that. there. Right, but there isn't always. There, it's not. There's not a fish every time, even when you're at the good spots. They try to keep it realistic. You know? right, right. Like I said, when I go fishing. <laughs> I catch them every time. <laughs> I put you in a good spot, Tony. That's why you catch so many. <laughs> yeah, so, as Derek was referencing to the giant catfish I caught, um, last year we went out on Lake Erie, and there's this uh, spot by the power plant where hot water comes out. I'm sure it's real safe to eat things there. <laughs> and everybody calls it the hot hole. And uh, the water's really warm there all the time. And it's a great spot to fish. So we go out there fishing, I don't know, I think it was late spring, early summer. No, it must have been summer, midsummer, because I got a hellacious sunburn when we were out. Hellacious, as you may see from the picture that I will put on here. But, uh, so we're out there, and, um, you know, I don't know, water's probably 10 foot deep. It's probably 90 degrees. And we're just dropping straight down, and, uh, you know, sitting on the bottom. We're going for catfish and carp. So, I have, uh, not a crappie rig, but like a catfish rig, where it's got, uh, you know, it's like a wire leader, it's got a sinker attached to it on the bottom, and it's got another leader with the hook. So, I figure, hey, why not? I'll use this. It's like a catfish rig. So, I'm catching nothing. And Derek's just one after the other, just pulling, they're jumping in the boat for him. <laughs> and we're literally, I mean, what? what's your boat? It's a 14 foot, 16, 16, 16 foot aluminum boat, you know, he's on one side, I'm on the other, so our our bait is about not that far five, from six feet other. away from each other <laughs> with no, not being, you know, <laughs> it was really five, six feet away from each other, and he's killing them and I'm catching nothing. We're using the same bait and everything. Well, you know, catfish have sensitive barbels, so apparently they, they could tell 
that I had a wire leader on there and they didn't want anything to do with it. As soon as I switched off and just had a hook on a piece of monofilament, I started killing them too. So, I don't know, the hot holes maybe like a hundred yards across. It's kind of like a channel. Maybe it's not even that. Here, give me that. It's my turn. <laughs> it's my turn. It's my turn. I haven't caught so, a fish in a while. <laughs> we move across, you know, a hundred yards, and there's a spot where there's like a little creek inlet, and um, we start fishing there, and we're both killing them, but I hook into this monster catfish, and the picture that I put up here doesn't really do it justice. I mean, it looks like a decent catfish in the picture, but, you know, we were catching lots of good-sized ones, and this one... This one was a hog. <laughs> and, you know, in the excitement, not paying attention, like an idiot, I don't measure it. And he literally has, like, a one of those big tape measure stickers by my feet on the <laughs> boat. All I have to do is hold it up next to it. And he also has a scale to weigh it, and I, neither of us really thought about it. And, uh, you know, I wanted to get a good picture of it, so I lip him. And it just it tore my thumbs up. <laughs> like, you know, catfish mouths just kind of, like, a bunch of sandpaper well this sucker being so heavy and he kept thrashing around and I kept dropping him he tore my thumbs up I was pretty much done fishing for the day after that it because was. both my thumbs were just shredded and it was painful and I was rather concerned about the contaminants in that water <laughs> going into my bloodstream but that's been about a year and I lived so I'm safe but unfortunately you know we're not eating anything out of there. No. Which is too bad because we caught a lot of stuff. Some people do. Yes. Not smart people. Though. No. <laughs> nope. And on that time, on that fishing trip, uh, there was two, two casts like in a row where I hooked something, something big with teeth that just like immediately snapped my line. And you know, we're talking about Lake Erie. It's not the ocean. It's fresh water. You know, you catch big fish, they might snap the line, but not, like, immediately. So it had to be a big pike or a big walleye. Um, but we'll never know. Something out there has got a couple of my hooks in its mouth. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to tell you where the hot hole big is. Because <laughs> that's, a, that's a good fishing spot. We don't want... We don't want the millions and millions of viewers <laughs> out there on Back in the Day Gamer. To know about our secret fishing hole. Well, Tony, I think Vital Pursuit's going to bring you quite a few. I, I hope so. <laughs> That's my plan. That's my plan. Maybe back in the day, Gamer and Vital Pursuit could team up. You know, there are some hunting games. There we go. On, on the various video game systems we cover here on Back in the Day Gamer. You might have to play some, like, Duck Hunter or Deer Hunter. Duck Hunt, right, right. Derek, just the other day, he's got, he's got a you know old CRT TV for me. Jeez, I'm not catching anything. What's going on? What are you doing? Look, you can look data for this point. Here is nice bass point. <laughs> well, we haven't caught it. Two, three yeah. casts. We'll get one more cast. One more cast. No. It was that big one. That was it. But yeah, there are some other games where we will have guest superstar Derek Miller from Vital Pursuit. We'll have him back here in the studio to, to play some other games. Uh, this being my favorite. But, you know, the other game on the NES is Blue Marlin. Once again, that is, uh, you know, that's ocean, that's salt water. That's not really my thing. Not so much Derek's thing, but it's a fishing game nonetheless. Uh, we got King Salmon on the Super Nintendo. Uh, that game's, uh, I'm sorry, Sega Genesis. That game's pretty decent. Um, several Super Nintendo games, Super Black Bass, tournaments, you know, all those games that are... $1.99 that the store's got eight of them on the shelf because nobody wants to buy them. So this is just a little guy? Yeah. He's going to weigh one, 1.3 pounds. 1.3? 1.3. Come on. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Met him, Tony. I'm not letting go. Oh, I, had to, I got nervous. I let go. Oh, oh one. one point. That's as small as they get there. Man. You can't get one smaller than a pound. Too bad, it says. Screw you. Should I stay here? Uh, no, move. There's one more spot. I think it's down in the left-hand corner. Hit that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Right here. You know what? I 
gotta try this open water yeah. stuff again. I can't do it. I and you know it was probably a total fluke. It was probably the monster bass. Right. <laughs> I've seen some videos on YouTube where uh, apparently there's the biggest black bass ever caught on this game. Um, oh, oh my, my God! God seriously. There it is. Uh, the other shadow is a little bigger than this one, but that's a big one still. It's gonna be a. Uh, oh, it's gonna be a pike. No. Keep going. Now just left and right, left and right. Don't reel because you want to stay on the screen. Once you end up coming out of the screen, having to cast again, oh, okay. it like resets. I'm pretty sure. That was, so that was a five pounder. Oh no, no, that would have been like ten pounds. <laughs> let's, let's keep the big bass talk going. I get that guy to come back. So there was a video that I watched where it's like you know they they catch the biggest one ever caught in the game and. You know, obviously the game is like programmed. It's not like random, so it must be the biggest one you can get. And uh, I actually didn't watch it because I don't like to watch the videos where it shows you like the ends of games or how to do things because I like to do it myself. I kind of think that's cheating. But I did watch a little bit of the video and the bass was huge. And that actually made me bust this game out because I haven't played it for years, because I have literally five, six hundred games over there, just about. So, you know, there's a method to playing them, and even though there's a game you might like a lot, you don't end up playing it all the time. Man, that sucks! I would just cast again. What, what do you have to lose? I mean, if it's boring and nothing happens, we just edit this part right out. Like it never happened. <laughs> never happened. Alright, cast not to get him again. Go for it. Dude, he was a hog. Alright. While you're doing that, I'm going to open this package that I received here from Boston, Massachusetts. We're not going to say the guy's name, but I bought this on eBay because I wanted this game for my nephews. And I never see it around town. And I did see it, and it was a cartridge only, not the box. And it was like $35.00. And I said, that's some crap just for this game. And I went on eBay and found found it in box for $25. And you can't see because we have the webcam off, but that game is Mutant League Football on the Sega Genesis. I have actually never played this, but I've seen some reviews. And I hear a lot of good things about it, so I'm excited. And uh, my nephews, um, you know, I want them to be into retro games because... Pretty much everything that's new sucks, and I don't want them growing up to be wussies like most of the world. So I figure we get them into some stuff that's cool. So let's see, if you're not familiar with it, Mutant, Mutant League Football. It's kind of like, we got skeletons and mutants and stuff playing football. And on the back it says, the glory goes to the gory. Anything can happen when the most awesome mutants battle to, per to prove who rules the galactic gridiron? That right there is enough to get you playing. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> don't cast in the weeds. Don't cast in the weeds. <laughs> you should be able to hit both buttons and it'll reel it in. Oh, thank God. I thought maybe you would lose your lure. Which you only have, since it's the first board, you get two of three lures. And if you lose them, you would only have... I think if you end up losing all your lures, it's game over. So you kind of like have to weigh in because you have no choice. Oh, okay. So just cast Let me go straight, straight to Kudra. But anyhow, so my nephew Dominic, well, and Dane, but they're uh, they're into, you know, they're playing football, and playing for a year or two, and they're into it. Their dad was a football player, so I figure this is supposed to be a really good game, and it's about football. So how can they not like that? There is a segment here on my channel called Uncle Tony's Game Room where I have like the nephews over and we play games or I mail them a game and I do OH MY oh. GOD! I'm not gonna say it, don't spook him. Go like right. Oh! God! Dude, how are you getting the hogs? Dude, that, what was that, 15 That's about like as big as you can get. <laughs> I don't know, because you don't catch many big fish. You don't really even see many big ones. But, but anyhow, so... You know, I'll, I'll send my nephews a game for their birthday or something. I'll make a little video of it and, you know, not tell them. And then they, you know, video game came and comes in the mail. They open it up. I got a note on there. It says, go to my channel, look up this video. And it's me telling them how to play the game, playing it. 
and, you know, see if they can beat my score and whatnot. Since my nephews Dane and Dominic live in North Carolina, we don't get to see each other a lot. So I think it's a cool thing about YouTube. Now Derek's niece, she's too young to start hunting yet. But she also lives in town. But she'll probably think it's cool that she gets to see her uncle and her dad on the TV screen. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I'm going to catch one of those again. A big one, not a small one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to catch some small ones. we got to up our poundage here. We're not going to make it to the second lake. Go same spot. Same Screw it. Yeah. The only time I move is if you've been there for a while and nothing happens, or if you just caught a fish. See, so you don't usually get like, you know, a couple in a row. Man, that was a big one. That was. Just like real life, where I got to show you how to catch the big ones, I guess. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're gonna have to get out here soon, Tony. Yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be. I mean, this works for today because it's so. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm itching to get out there. Yeah. I mean, there'll be walleye time real soon. If not, or have you heard anything? Mm -hmm. It's got to be pretty soon as warm as it's been. They're right. Well, it's supposed to be 30 tonight. So that's not going to help. I don't know if that screws it up. You know what? There's no walleye fishing game that I can think of. I know some of them Super Nintendo games catch a walleye. There needs to be a Lake Erie fishing game. Lake Erie is the Great Lakes. There, Hey, there we go. The Great Lakes. Yeah. Vital Pursuit. <laughs> Vital Pursuit, the Great Lakes. We can have a fishing yeah. episode. Yeah. We take it for granted here because we live there and it just seems like, oh, yeah, whatever. It's the Great Lakes. You know, Lake Erie, of course, it's right there. But, you know, it is renowned. I mean, the Great Lakes are the largest lakes in the world. They're the Great Lakes. Uh, it's the best place to walleye fish, for sure. Um, Alright, you're getting one more cast, and then I have to play. I'm getting antsy. <laughs> I'm getting antsy. I'm getting antsy here. You know, it's not always about hunting, Tony, because when you're fishing, you're hunting and fishing. <laughs> <laughs> so we might have to do some more uh, fishing on TV. I am looking to do some bow hunting fishing. I am. That'd be fun, too. Really looking forward to that. That sounds like a lot of fun. When I went out for my first time last year, I think I shot a hundred arrows and I got four carp. But it was a blast. It was fun. So, four percent's not very good. No. <laughs> no. My girlfriend's dad is laughing at me the whole time. How many did he get? He didn't get. I mean, he shot a few times and missed, but yeah. then he pretty much just let me have at it. For oh yeah. A hundred arrows. He said I shot more than a hundred, but it was my first time out. Yeah, I still gotta get a reel on that bow. Yeah. Yeah, it's no good bow on no. <laughs> <laughs> no good bow vision. There's no reel on it. I got him! But he swam away. He swam away. Especially the carp are pretty tough. The arrow doesn't usually kill him. Right. <laughs> Alright, you're done here. Yeah. Reel it in, reel it in. Bad spot. I was Bad waiting spot. for the big one there in the open water again. Yeah, every time you pick the crappy spot. I'm gonna go right here. I don't think this. See if I get lucky like Derek. Dude, I'm addicted. I gotta get one of the big ones. As far as yeah, piss me beginner's off. luck. <laughs> yeah, usually in these spots you don't even see anything. And the two times you see the monster. But that brown swampy area, that's that seems to be the best spot all around. Uh, but that was a monster there. I'm assuming those were not bass. You never know. But usually, I mean, you know, this is the first board, it's the beginner board, so the fish are smaller, the bigger, you you know, on average you catch pound, so pound and a half. How much time do we have? Uh, we've got till 1600 hours, oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. we got till 1600 hours. Usually by this time or so, you pretty much, you know, you can just go way in. Because it's the first board and you don't need that much to, to qualify. And what, oh my god. It's a waste of time. God, I pulled a dare. <laughs> catching them here. But yeah, so on average, you know, you're catching pound and a half halfers on this first lake, and you know, every board you get, it's like the fish on average are a little bigger. Jeez, I almost got hung up again. I feel I'm, I'm gonna right. nail. This is gonna be a three pounder on this cast. I hope you're right. Yeah, yeah. I 
No, that that's a one pounder. It's all right. We'll take it. Yeah. Let's make the way. Since we got let's make the cut. Two point <laughs> three pounds in our live well right now. How much do we need? I don't know. I don't know. Not a whole lot, because like I said, it's the first board. But I wonder if they have like uh, tarp tournaments around here we can do. Yeah, I never hear of them, but warm out. Now that I'm holding B down, uh, that noise. I don't technically know what that does, but I think it's just like holding them in place, you know? Like the drag's not open, but you're not pulling on the rod, keeping tension on the line. Yeah, that's gonna be a pound. That's not, it's not really helping our cause. Not let go. I made it! I made it. Oh, ooh, doggies! 1.5! Go to your results for today. It's not good. We got three dinkers. One sub, one five, one one. Oh, and another one. Alright, four fish. That's, that's not a lot. <laughs> Alright, we're making a move. Right here? I don't think that's anything. Wait, I, you keep getting... What's out here? Have you ever fished out here? Yeah, I mean, I've fished everywhere. Like I said, I had this game for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where you tell me not to go is where the big I know, right? Gone. So I'm not going to tell you. Just go for it. Fishing weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna get one now because this is a good spot and you went and nothing happened. So now I'm gonna get one. There he is. It's another dinker. Be lucky if that's a pound and a half. <laughs> and I don't want to say it because it's gonna make it happen, but you know, we haven't got anything but black bass so far. We ain't got money fish, period. Uh -huh. Oh. I think when that happens, you want to pump the beat button. Whoa! He's a fighter! Oh, uh -huh. guy's gonna break you off. Uh -huh. No way. I am a professional <laughs> angler. <laughs> angler at Black Bass on Nintendo. Why is, it, why is the grass different color? I don't know. I mean, I think there were cattails in the middle. Okay. I mean, it's old 8-bit NES. So... <laughs> Net him, Tony. I like to push it at the end. It looks like a shopping cart. It, like it looks like a shopping <laughs> cart. 1.6 pounds! Hey, that's the biggest one. It's small. No, we had a 1.7. I would move. We want to go to the spot where there were the rocks. Well, if you get them here, too, that'd be great, because it's right at the end of the board. Get it. Oh, oh yeah. that's a pike. Or a lake trout. That's what we want. No, it doesn't count. What? No, it's a black bass trout. But that's going to be four pounds. That was a rainbow trout? Now, it looks like a rainbow trout right there. Right, right. It didn't look like it in the water. No. 2.5, Tony. And it's saying congratulations, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't count. All that wasted time. Coming back. Getting him this time. This is it. I'll Coming catch back. him. It'll be a three and a half pound bass and we'll weigh in. Ah. Yeah. Ah. So it's probably another rainbow. Yeah. Woo! Man, these things are dogs. They don't care. You just reel it straight in. It's like not fighting at all. I haven't caught a lot of rainbow trout in real life, but I hope they put up more of a fight than that. Oh, Derek's was bigger. I got the biggest fish so so far, Tony, but not what we want. I'm gonna give it one. I'm gonna give it one more cast. So let's see. That was like about a minute in real time, and it ended up being 20 minutes video game. So we got about six minutes of real time left. This is just enough for me to land a lunker in my favorite a spot. Lunker. A 
big old bucket mouth. Well, that's not a big one, but... One more fish in the live well. He's coming back. He can't resist. He's just playing hard to get. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, no. Nah. Boy, howdy! I'm gonna get that one. So I see how you keep them, keep them out of there. Yeah, there Ooh, we go. Yeah. That's what we want. Green. So do they ever take you through that stuff? No, it's just like I'm pushing right right okay. now. It's just like a wall. But you can cast it and lose your lure. <laughs> how many times have you like broken off? Or they got oh, wait, can you break off or do you... No, the only time you can break off is if a fish breaks your line. You can cast it out and just hit both buttons and it reels it. Okay, I'm stuck. Say 1.2. Alright, well, just kill it. Go to end. Yeah, let's see what we have. Are you sure you want to stop? Alright, I guess. Ceremony code. Vital P. <laughs> Did we... Vital P. Right, so we're last. We're still in last place. Did we advance even? We didn't even advance, did we? That sucks. We gotta do wow. it over. We gotta do it over. We can't let the people see us lose. <laughs> <laughs> what are the people gonna think of Vital Pursuit? That sucks. We'll just end that out. Alright, alright, pause. Okay, people! We had, we just got third place on the first leg. We <laughs> moved all the way from 200th to third. That was... We had a little glitch with the capture card, so you couldn't see us catch those last monsters. We got a two 11-pounders and a 13-pounder. We, we, were, we were only like half a pound off first place, but... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. All right, folks. Well, there you go. There's a little black bass on the original Nintendo from 1989, before Derek was born. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, keep an eye out for more fishing and hunting with Vital Pursuit here on Back in the Day Gamer. Uh, you know, like he said, they're going to be posting, uh, posting their videos this coming up year. He says 2018, but I'm going to say we're going to see videos in 2017. If I have to go out and shoot the deer and catch the fish myself, you're going to have videos from Vital Pursuit <laughs> in 2017. That's a back-in-the-day gamer promise. Uh, awesome. <laughs> so, any last words for the people here, Derek, before we hit the road? No, I appreciate it, Tony. It's been, it's been fun. Well, no problem. It has been an honor having you here in the <laughs> studio. No next time we'll have some Budweiser yeah, here. Right, maybe next time you'll catch... Right. One extra fish that isn't the smallest one yeah. in the live one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I got the biggest one today, 2.5. <laughs> this wasn't what we were going after. That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right, people. Well, that does it for us here at Back in the Day Gamer today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And until next time, keep it retro.